On this week's edition of My Corner on Bedou on the Move, Olawale Ayodeji Martins, popularly known as Martins Fields, who recently delivered an electrifying performance at the just concluded collaboration, graced the segment to share his musical journey with fans. This is Martins Fields, and I'm live on my corner on Bedou on the Move. Don't go nowhere, don't touch that down. Make sure you stay tuned to the group. My name is Ola Yawadeji Martins, stage name Martins Fields. I went to Yawi Nojran Primary School from, I can't remember the years exactly, but I finished from Kulinde Nojran um, Primary School. Then afterwards, my secondary education, I went to Kyogum and Seraphim College. Then I went to, I went on to University of Illinois to study microbiology. But I left in my third year, yeah. But now I'm in school, back, I'm back in school again, I'm in my final year. Yeah, I started as a rapper. So 2010, 2011, that was when the journey started. And then from that time, Roughly, we spent about four years in learning all slings of music until we come until we came to Lagos right at 2015. That was when I met um, JJC and Auntie from Yeah, they are the reasons I came to Lagos actually. We were in learning, okay. so my friend we did a freestyle and posted on Instagram. So the thing is, when we like post freestyles on Instagram, that was 2014. We tend to like tag as much celebrities as we can and send to their DM. So my friend did it without, without my knowledge. So it was JJC that responded to him. And then I think three weeks after uh, we, he saw the video, he called my friend and he was asking about me and stuff. So he told us to come to Lagos to come and see him. Ah, it was a beautiful experience, kind of like. Because apart from doing music, I got to learn how to act. Yeah, so I'm an actor as well, as a side thing. They give them attention. Cause me, I know their intention, brother. Make you pray for redemption. Make you no go fall into depression. Oh my ray if I pack a dad and me that them say me call it this my speedometer. More than one thousand five hundred liters. I don't go far away many kilometers. Afro beats majorly and like the streets like to call it nowadays Afro Adura or Afro inspiration. Mm. I don't know if you get what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> the Afro inspiration I'll go for that one. First and foremost, I'll say God is like the source of of my inspiration and then I tend to look at my inner self here yeah. I make I make when I'm writing I make my music as natural as possible because I feel like oh what I'm going through now or what I'm feeling right now somewhere or somewhere is feeling or going through the same thing here. Yeah. Work with Files, Zlatan, I've also done something Trot, Chinque Kun, Dot Man and yeah many of yeah. vibes too. I recorded the song during lockdown, yeah, and and I think it was at the uh, uh, when I was making the song. 2019, I knew that oh, if I'm to make a remix for this song, I wanted a rapper on it. I actually had a lot in mind was Latin, you understand? And Latin is like my big brother, we talk on Instagram. And then I, I think I was in Ocean State when I sent him a message, and then he told me that when I go to Lagos, I should let him know. And then I messaged him, and we linked up and we recorded the song. So we made it as a remix for the original one, and then we shot the video. But because it was everything happened like during the uh, coronavirus, I didn't get to like perform or know how the song was doing, except for the numbers I was seeing online until I think until late 2021, yeah, when I go to perform the song and then I knew that oh this song is actually big.
I think everything down from like the sounds to the way we sing and everything because there was a point like it was this pom pom sound that was ringing and then now we are down to our piano and our piano has been the trend for over two years now so as an artist I've been able to cope or let me say survive it's just once you know what people want from from you just or what you know what people are listening to just try and like blend your style with that because at the end of the day you're not making music for yourself you're making music for people to love to connect with so i'm working on an ep that was supposed to drop this year but due to some like call it tech, technical some things we're still working on it but unfailingly 2024 by god's grace i'm looking forward to like releasing the beginning of the year january yeah an EP of I think four or five songs. We're still working on the track list. Um, there's three vibes on the EP. There's Ortega, and yeah, those are the two features I'm sure of right now. Yeah. To be tiko ba so la wa ya mi mama ja bo ise sin lo owo sin bo gbedu sin lo it was good the coin martin feels and this is bedu on the move and this is my corner Let's go.